My name is Eric Flynn. I'm the president of the New York State Bed Bug Association. Bed bugs are awful, and it's one of the few things in life that common sense does not apply to. If you have a tenant that's problematic and dirty and has bed bugs, the first thing that you might think of is, you know what, I'm going to wait for these people to be evicted or, or move out before I take care of the problem. And that doesn't work because you need a host as part of the extermination. So if you evict these people or they move out prior to the extermination, you're not going to be able to get rid of them until the next tenant moves in. The same goes for if a tenant reaches out to you with a bed bug issue. The first thing that you want to do is examine that tenant's apartment and examine the apartments that surround it. You could have a number of situations, including it's not a big deal. It could, one, not be a bed bug. A lot of times tenants will base uh, bites as their reasoning that they have bed bugs, and that's simply not the case. Or they may have found one bed bug. One bed bug doesn't necessarily mean that you have an infestation, nor does it mean that you have to take action. It definitely should be cause for alarm for you to go over and do a visual inspection. Things that you're going to look for are, are droppings, casings, and bed bugs. Bed bugs might be a little hard to find, but the, the droppings and the casing, they're relatively easy to find if you're looking. Um, if you just look online, um, you find a, a number of resources as to uh, where to look. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us and we can walk you through an inspection. I caution you with having an actual inspection done. There's a lot of good exterminators and there's a lot of bad exterminators. And sometimes exterminators will scare people into doing an extermination when it's really not necessary. Um, so you really should inspect yourself and see what you can find. If you can't find any evidence, I would just monitor the situation. You might not have to do anything. Um, but not taking action is a problem, regardless of municipal law, um, state codes, it, it, all that doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's your building and it's your problem. Because if the tenant can't afford an exterminator or won't pay for an extermination, the problem's just gonna get worse. And if they start self-treating, it's gonna cause it to spread and make the problem worse. It's not going to go away on its own. And eventually, at some point, the tenant's going to move out. And now you have an even bigger problem on your hand. Because as I said earlier, you need the host. So if the tenant moves out and there's no host, you really have very little chance of a successful extermination until the next tenant moves in. How in the world are you going to get somebody to move into an apartment that has bed bugs? and try and explain, hey, I'll do an extermination as soon as you move in. So it's very wise to work with a tenant to have an extermination done in real time when they call if needed. But again, just because they call with bed bugs doesn't mean you have to panic and, and automatically do an extermination. I would do an inspection yourself and verify what they're telling you. If you have any questions, feel free to call us 607-591-4563 or visit us online at cnybedbugextermination.com. Thank you.